The Toho Company makes wonderful monster movies that we at Lazy Alien absolutely adore. We want to share our love of these films with the world, and with that in mind, we also want to mention that some of these clips do not belong to us. We've made this video for entertainment purposes only, and the clips we've used should fall under fair use. The films featured within are the property of the Toho Company, and if you like these videos, buy their films. Godzilla, King of the Kaiju, would appreciate it. So guys, today we started a tremendous journey spanning from 1954 to 2016. We're going to watch and review every single movie ever made featuring the King of Monsters, Godzilla. And we started with Godzilla, 1954. Chris, what's Godzilla about? In 1954, Toho's original plan had always been to make a political film. The initial concept centered around the Japanese occupation of Indonesia, but the filmmakers were denied visas due to political pressure. Toho then came up with the idea for a giant monster movie, partly inspired by a real-life Japanese ship that was badly irradiated by United States nuclear testing that same year. After several drafts, a screenplay was penned by director Eshiro Honda and Takeo Murata. The story now featured a gigantic dinosaur-like monster, disturbed from the sea by nuclear testing, bent on a deadly rampage across Tokyo. Godzilla had been born. Well, if you ask me, Kevin, it doesn't really make sense because the premise <laughs> of the plot was that Godzilla is a, a giant creature that was created due to man using atomic nuclear weapons. And the date of the movie is set in 1954 when, you know, the most of nuclear weapons that they... What, Jeff, you pointed out that they, they tested in the Arizona desert the first nuclear or, or atomic bomb uh, in 41? Uh, 41 or 43, I'm going to go with that. Right, okay. So the, the time span there of, like, you know, um, there's a reference in the movie where he... Where the Six and a half hours later. The, time, the timeline of Godzilla being a mutant and bombs going off may not really line up. Aside from that... Aside from that, it was it was actually a pretty pretty solid story, like, like a pretty basic story. Yeah, right? like, like uh, who did I point this out to when we were watching it? That it's basically every monster movie story, but it occurred to me this movie started the monster movie story. Yeah, yeah. Kind of not not their story, story, their formula. Yeah, the, yeah, formula, the formula. Yeah. yeah. Of, you know, you don't show the monster for the first 20 minutes, you show maybe things it's done. Yeah. Oh, another explosion. Oh, God. Shit. Oh, Jesus. More toy boats are blowing up. Oh, my God, that's Aww. adorable. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> there it goes. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's great. You never see it until some big reveal moment <laughs> this one you'll always see their footprint before you see the monster yes you yeah know, you always Which see some there was sign that. of it there was that them measuring it i'm really impressed with the sets when they're not miniatures footprint <laughs> sort of oh i see no you oh yeah it is There's like a crater yeah <laughs> Mm -hmm. Which we we sat there and tried to figure out if it, that's what they were doing because it's so hard. they <laughs> they did this thing. It's where very they, strangely shot. Yeah, it's strangely shot because you're sitting here and you're like, I'm not sure what they're trying to emphasize. Okay, is he far away, or is he looking over top of the boat, or yeah, there's he's oh he's gonna go the towards the boat. Oh, okay. okay. So the the little flashing lights are the boats. I thought we were seeing it from the boat's oh, the, perspective the lighthouse when he came up. I think we did. They're not very good at showing what exactly you're looking at, are they? At times, yeah. I know. It's 1954. <laughs> what, the, what is the main focal point of this shot, of this scene? Because you're just kind of like... But then there are other it's moments everywhere. where it was like, pretty clear, like Godzilla's reveal. <laughs> Matt. That's a great hand pump it. What did you think? <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Here it comes! Oh my god! This is a lumpy Running nightmare. From the top of a hill. It's so lumpy. Yeah! Run from the top of the hill! It's like it's full of warts. They made it out of warts. Yeah! <laughs> 
<laughs> its jaw is crooked. Every I don't. Moment. I don't even know. And like the mouth goes sideways. Oh it's yeah, it is. Man, the, that crooked mouth. I swear, <laughs> I'm like that's that Godzilla's on crack. <laughs> I fucking love that. Look at the puppet. cheeks. <laughs> it's on something. Yeah, that he's got some that derpy guy's eyes to go like with it. Hand, just like, Every it's moment that hand puppet he's is not on camera. Crack. He literally has a hand up his ass. <laughs> and, like that's all there is to it. Like, He'd be uncomfortable too. Being, yeah. The, 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 big, the biggest, the biggest issue I had was the main difference in like. The guy in the costume, the, the of the eyes on the Godzilla, yeah, and the eyes on the hand puppet, like did they really need to be They're that really, bulgy? really derpy. They were like, <laughs> <laughs> like, it looked like it looked like Godzilla had something in his cheeks, and he was, just, <laughs> and he was getting ready to just go to <laughs> spit at you or something like make love to that <laughs> clock tower. Jeff, oh, no, I what, think what did you think of the amazing special effects for Godzilla's atomic breath? I'm just thinking of uh, how, like, that's what the 2014 version, like, based that spikes lighting up on his back, except they had that, like, charge to really it this cool. time. Yeah, yeah, they did. They were like, this is how it's supposed to be done. <laughs> it's the 2014 remake of it. Instead, yeah. like, it's just in the 54 version, they have the flash and the bang of steam coming out of his mouth, you know? Like that. <laughs> it was it, they had that literally, going on. Yeah, literally the first time we saw his atomic breath, we're like, oh, look, he's got, like, frost breath, or... Yeah. That's his atomic breath? Wow. That looks like it's icy breath. Ice breath. Is it? No. Godzilla. Oh, no, it's melting. It's melting. It's his atomic breath. Yeah. It's melting. It literally looked like somebody had just, like, this giant fire extinguisher sitting on top of the guy's head in the costume. In the mouth of Godzilla, and he just reached up and went. I'm kind of wondering how they did the effect now. If it's just added post production, or if there is like just you know an air hose in his mouth or something. They had an yeah. air hose sticking out of his mouth, coming out that way. Just Think so? Blown st yeah, that's yeah. all there was to it. Godzilla was brought to life through a few different clever and inventive means of special effects. Instead of using stop motion as intended, the effects director instead used suitmation. And thank God, because I love cheesy practical effects. There were two suits, one with only Godzilla's legs and tail, and another of the whole monster. The suits were crazy hot, heavy, and hard to move in, so actor Haruo Nakajima could only stay inside for a couple minutes without passing out. I get it. I once played a mostly blind Darth Vader, and I was sweating buckets under my mask. Good looking costumes are never comfortable. And let's not forget the smaller scale torso model that was operated by hand, our lovable puppet. This model had a device that sprayed streams of mist, which made up Godzilla's atomic breath. Godzilla's glowing fins were made with optical animation, which was a very old and very slow technique, since it had to be drawn frame by frame. In addition to all that work to build the King of the Monsters, 30 to 40 carpenters were hired to build a miniature version of an entire district of Tokyo, at 125 scale. To help Godzilla stomping through it, some of it had hairline cracks, some was sprayed with gasoline and set on fire, and some even had tiny explosives inside. It took 71 days to film Godzilla's Rampage. And then the element of the constant recycling images that they yeah. really shot. That the same, same scene footage. over, same saves, scene saves over. Saves money. And yeah. then reason just because... I think we've seen this Look at those same boats. Yeah, it is the same, it's the same Is it the same footage. shot from yeah. before? It's kind of <laughs> the same shot, man. The one, the one that we all loved when, you know, they, they took their first picture of when we first get the reveal of Godzilla and then they show the picture and it's not what we saw. No, it's, so it's someone's drawn. incredible drawing. That's not a hand puppet. Somebody drew that. Painting. That yeah. one's drawn, yeah. I, they knew this had to be the serious moment. Yeah. <laughs> they did not look... They, yes, they went God. through all the footage and they were like, we need a half second of him not <laughs> looking derpy. <laughs> and they couldn't find it, so they painted one. So well drawn. That reveal was awesome, though, too, because you know it's a green screen. Yeah. At the top, so... 
All I'm thinking about is these actors when they're being filmed and running up this hill and then looking at the sky and screaming and falling and tumbling <laughs> down the hill. <laughs> From nothing. From nothing. Oh, yeah. Just like <laughs> seeing movies behind the scenes like that. That's got to be fantastic, right? Like there's that shot where Godzilla uses his atomic breath on a, on a crowd of people and they all just kind of drop and like just imagine, you know, someone's filming and it's just people running down the street and he goes, okay, everybody play dead now. <laughs> that scene made me so mad. It was anti-science. Yeah. It was well, anti-science. It's just that Godzilla's atomic breath makes no sense in this movie. It yeah. burns buildings. It kills people without any markings whatsoever. It blows up cars. Melts. <laughs> it steel. melts pow uh, power lines and, like, and steel. Yeah. Well, I don't know why it's unclear even what you guys are like talking about right now, what Godzilla can do. It's because of the time period. It's 1954. I think that's what it is, yeah. And it's movies are still like working on working out the case. The 1954 film Gojira sold almost 10 million tickets at the box office, but critically it wasn't liked very much. A lot of critics panned it and said all the destruction was in bad taste, especially since Japan was still picking up the pieces after the war. But in 1956, the movie was re-released in America with the title Godzilla King of the Monsters. American critics loved the movie, saying the frank depictions of the horrors of the atomic bomb were appropriate and honestly, pretty jarring. After that, things began to look better for Godzilla, and now he's the symbol of Toho Studios, and the original film is considered to be something of a masterpiece. The second movie is Godzilla Raids Again, and it's supposed to oh, take yeah. place in the same universe. Right. Okay, so. Which brings up a question, because, spoilers, um, Godzilla is turned into bones oh, at no. the end of this movie. Yeah, oh, spoiler sorry. Alert, and, uh... We're we're kind of wondering. I'm not gonna look it up. I'm not gonna spoil it for myself. I'm just gonna watch it. How do you? I'm wondering how you bring him that. back for another movie. Uh, Random uh, question that just pops into my head. Godzilla is killed. Spoiler. Godzilla is killed by the oxygen destroyer that. Uh, what's his name? Dr. Dr. Sarazawa. Sarazawa. Dr. Eyepatch. Yeah. Dr. Eyepatch. Dr. Dr. Eyepatch. And he goes down in, in those ridiculous water suits that have so much water air in, in the shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> the, the air suits that are barely there. <laughs> they, they, like the air in the shoulders is enough to act as like life jackets. So, like, why just <laughs> Boy and life jackets? Buoyancy, yeah. They should be floating. So he he releases the the oxygen destroyer, right? Godzilla suffocated, came to the surface, came back down, went as a skeleton. What the hell happened to the rest of the ocean? I so think what the idea is, is Jap Japanese it's... ocean just poisoned now? Did anyone turn that off? Well, that was that was what Can you turn that it was off? that was Sarah's I was concerned, right? <laughs> ホンダンダイナモノがいくかれば。それこそ東京湾一円の海中も一瞬にして死の墓場と化すことも可能なんです。そうです。もしも兵器として使用されたならば。それこそ水爆と同じように人類を破滅に導くかもしれません。I assume the idea is now all of the wildlife in Tokyo Bay is dead because they had to kill Godzilla. That's why they just ended it the way they mm. did. Because they didn't want to have to explain it. Another so. spoiler alert, it probably won't be explained in the next one. They'll probably wow. just negate that fact. I wonder that. how quickly they'll move on they'll from just the Oxygen Destroyer. Yeah, just because completely the Oxygen negated. Destroyer is sort of a wonderful concept because, as everyone knows, Godzilla is a, is a creation of nuclear radiation. He's essentially Japan's film response to the horrors of the atomic bomb. Uh, and in the end, the big plot question becomes, do we stoop to the same levels of horror and atrocity in order to destroy something created by horror and atrocity, which is kind of a really wonderful, deep question. Want about the oxygen destroyer being cool, but I still want to see Godzilla fight like King Kong or something, man. There, there's a black and white, and of course, that, isn't that? Don't we have? 
Godzilla vs. Kong, the first one? The, that one's in color. That's we'll get there actually, in color. That's oh. the first color movie. Right, I'm remembering um, the first Kong movie. Mm. But, uh, yeah, the first King Kong movie was like 1933 or Which something. Which actually yeah. looked like Kong was claymation half the time. But I think he was. He was, yeah. Uh, was he really? Yeah. I think so. But, uh, yeah, so the, the original Godzilla just has him pitted against the military, and by Godzilla raids again, they have him pitted against other monsters. It's It starts with Angiris, and it only gets better from there. That's something else I'd really like to point out about the 1954 Godzilla. He fucking <coughs> levels Tokyo. He okay. raped the shit out of it. This is 1954. Yes. This has the most destruction of a Godzilla movie I've ever seen to the actual, like, city. Damn. Oh shit! Right? Yeah. He destroyed. This everything. is what I'm saying. He destroyed everything. Flat Every, out destroys the whole Godzilla, city. Every Godzilla you have see probably Godzilla seen, Kong, yeah. like that's a newer <laughs> Godzilla, like Zilla, like freaking 2014, you don't need to see like Shin Godzilla 2016. They did nothing, nothing in comparison to the damage that Godzilla did. Hold your breath when it comes to Shin Godzilla, because I've seen some clips of that. But <laughs> well, okay, still, mm -hmm. when when they when they tried to show the damage that Godzilla did in the, in this one, they did a lot of what clips from old they, war footage. They did and some old war footage. Just like they did literally man. footage of Hiroshima after the bombing. Just blatantly <laughs> yeah. footage of Hiroshima. That's shots of post Hiroshima. Mm -hmm. Here you go, bam. Let's, and then at times, at times it was burning miniatures, and like there was a there was an interesting mixture of special effects throughout the movie. A lot like, of toy cars. As soon as something became <laughs> a toy, toy you were like, toy that's things. getting destroyed. Are those toy tanks? I think yeah. those are toy tanks. Yep. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> toy tank. Oh, yep. oh the helicopter. In the, oh, when, the, in the toy first, helicopter! The first flood scene, <laughs> where it's just it's sitting there, and you can see the propellers like just wobbling because oh, they're man. so plastic. It wasn't a toy. And then it, goes, it was made out of paper. Yeah, it was a paper. <laughs> paper. Yeah, it was it a paper. Yeah, paper machine. Yeah, yeah, paper machine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Even better. It just R.I.P. that helicopter. Take in the arms of the well, what else can be said about Godzilla? Uh, like, I mean, it was a solid beginning. <laughs> Yeah, everything was great. The only thing that got me again, that ham puppet eating oh, man. that it was when it ate that power power tower, I was just like, Look at those cheeks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's like a hamster stuffing nuts away. We just saw Oh shit. Oh, Make no. love to it. <laughs> Make love, love to it. To the broadcast tower. Look at him. Yeah, yeah Mako. Mm. Mako on the back. Yeah. Look, Look at the, the hand pump. jaw come out from the set. <laughs> <laughs> the teeth are going like this. Around. <laughs> yeah, but overall, overall, but, it had its, you know, it had its moments where we're like, oh my gosh, and it had its moments where we're kind of actually interested and wanted to figure out what was going on, so. One of those oh my gosh moments happened three times for me was the editing and how they just kind of, just all of a sudden... Just like flashed at some. What the heck? What was that? Fire Ooh. the editor. And there was the moments with the really bad acting that came out of nowhere. Oh yeah. Like, <laughs> like, like <laughs> why are you crying? <laughs> She's not. <laughs> Final thoughts. Matt? Um, I give it, I say four out of five stars four five. for a fifty for a 50s movie. I mean, yeah, I love 50s movies. So old movies yeah, I, um, I would say if I watched it at the time that it was released, I would not have noticed nearly as much that no, I had noticed now. No, right? So I'd, I'd, give, I'd give it a four out of five as well four for an original 1954 film. Jeff? I'm not that generous. I'm going to give it two and a half out of five. Oh, shit. Oh, 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 come on now. It's like there's... Uh, the vinegar. There's, uh, there's a whole lot they could have... There's... Uh, I don't know. It's like it was a first attempt in everything, but... 
You so can almost I, see it as a for, as a rough draft. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I know it's a first attempt and everything, but uh, I don't know. It's just a little more. Now I'm so used to movies nowadays that are like the editing is just so yeah, much more. Well, quick my pace. perspective yeah. is also I, from 1954, I and that, yeah. they also didn't have as nearly as the advances in film and TV as early as the West. Yeah. You know, like like, like, like you were saying, like uh, at this at this point in time, Japanese were kind of still figuring out cinema. Exactly. Uh, right? I mean, and they so, they're they are now the most technically advanced people, but yet they were still trying to figure it out. Yeah. That's how quickly they've come along. So, yeah, so it's one of those right. things. But their like, movies but, haven't really changed but, that much. Two and a half stars. That's fine. That's, yeah. We need someone with uh, with harsh criticism because because yeah, uh, guess what? Five fucking stars. Every time, every second that hand puppet is on camera, I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> every second the dude in the suit is on camera, I'm happy. Oh shit! He's just out. Look at him go. Every time he roars, I'm happy. I fucking love me some Godzilla, that man. That roar when he died. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was oh, the that best was the roar. best roar. That was good. Yeah. If, you, if you guys want to hear a really good Godzilla roar, aside from, from the like 2014 one. Which is amazing. Aside from the 2014 one. Aside, <laughs> because I here. love that one. That one oh. really gets me going. <laughs> but, so if you really want a good Godzilla roar from the like, original... You definitely have to get it from the scene when he resurfaces after the oxygen destroyer. It that was beautiful. It was crisp. It was clear. It was long. It, it was how Godzilla should have sounded. Everyone should be wet. Pump it. Yep, and pump it again. And it's, and it's probably just a hose. <laughs> it is. It's just a hose below the water. That was the best Godzilla scream of this entire movie I have heard. A little bit of trivia. Uh, Supposedly, later on, the sound was created differently by uh, slowing down the sound of a creaky door. Mm -hmm. But that original sound supposedly was uh, a leather glove being drawn across the strings of a double bass that were like lubed up with oil. That's dope, right? Hmm. That's a good yeah. idea. I sneaky sneaky I'm little to Japanese. Watch the the uh, thirty more we have to. I am really excited for the thirty more we have, uh, starting with Godzilla raids again. Woot. Which will be next, so be on Which the lookout for that. Next. Uh, so to close it out here, uh, thank you very much, for everyone, for watching. Uh, if you like the video, like it. If you want to see more, subscribe to our channel. Uh, I'm Cypher, he's Kevin, and we are Lazy Alien. I'm Jeff. I'm Matt. And uh, you'll be seeing a lot more of all of us, to be sure. Thanks for much. Uh, so, yeah. Wow. Yes, 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 yes. Rewind. Rewind the tape there. Yeah. So thanks, thanks so very much, guys. <laughs> we appreciate it very much. This is fucked. <laughs>